Busy morning? Keep your eyes on Christ. And we're back. Mm-hmm. Hi guys, good morning. You're still tuning in to Mango Mornings. Mm-hmm. This is G, Kuya B, and Pastor JB. Good morning, good morning, morning good morning. So not si G, si B, o si JB. <laughs> <laughs> City, Davao City, and all viewers ating live stream sa YouTube. Hello to Jason Pasibo, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Si Bugi lang doon din. Okay, walo-walo wala. Alam dito, nang bully. Bully. Sari sa ito, Suki. Ang tingga, tanaw. Jason, ano? Ato yung iso bagbe? Native view. Pwede na ka mag-comment. Migo man, Miana. Jason. Good morning to him, Ana. Good morning, Mango. Mornings now with all the emoticons. Grabe. And uh, si Sangay, Jeremiah Lopez, my yeah. muntag. Thank you so much for tuning in. And also to Yada of Davao. Hello, hello. And God loves uh, you just as you are. He mm-hmm. wants to see you grow and change for the better. Wow, blessed day to you as well. And ang iyang partner, pero may kaubang ni si Yada. Oh, si Susan. I'm so bongga. Kasi nagsabot na sila ba. Pero may nagtapad nila ba messages. Hello, and quoting 1 John 5, to 15, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of Him. Amen. In Jesus' name, be healthy and strong, and God God bless us all. Thank you, Sister Susan and Sister Yada. And also, to Jake Marcenas, kanina lang, greetings. And also to Cousin Aileen Marisigan. And also to Yada, uh, Yada, uh, Dada Rosano. <laughs> <laughs> and also to um, kaning, uh, mga cousin and new found friends mm-hmm. and si mga staff daw sa kaning Mask Pro. So, yeah. good morning. Hello also to Sir Jess Delgado and all the clan of Delgado. Tapos si Doc Jake and uh, Nizilov Alce. Ayan. Daming greetings. Oh, ano man na? Para <laughs> Hi po tayo sa taga God's Power Revival Mission Ministries Youth. They are wow. listening. Watching po. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello po tayo sa mga taga CCF. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw ba, Star? Masin? Hello, sa ito ang guest ka ron sa devotional. <laughs> oh. Ay, Ay, tag- transition ba? Tagga si CF mo ba ni? We are on the segment that we would listen mm. uh, sharing from our regular guest, Familiar Faith. Mm. Let us welcome Getting Familiar na Jude. Getting Familiar Regular. Mm-hmm. Poy Kalyaman of CCF Elevate North. Hi, Poy. Hello, po. Hello, TB. Hello, Kuya Bernie and Pastor JB. G. G, G pala. Tinggal mo ka Ati B doon siya. Ati Bernie. May ganyan ko yung Ati B, Kuya B. Ah, okay, hindi ito ako. Ati G. <laughs> Hello, po. Good morning, everyone. And it's a pleasure to be back. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, should I share my devotion na po? Sure. sure. Okay, so our devotion... Uh, I want to start with a question. Mm-hmm. So the first question is, are you in a season of waiting? Mm-hmm. Because if you are, then this devotion would be sakto sa inyo, no? Mm-hmm. Because most of the time, diba, we, we get impatient with the Lord. There's some promises na bin- binibigay sa atin ni God. And a lot of times, we do get impatient. Sometimes it may be a salvation of a loved one. Mm. Or maybe, you know, just like for us single men or women, Uy. diba? A partner. Mm. Diba? Pastor JB. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uy. Uy. Si Ati G. So, diba? We, we do get impatient. And at times, we ask God, Lord, kailan, kailan nga ba? Mm-hmm. Kailan nga ba mangyayari itong promise mo? And this devotion would be sakto sa inyo. So it starts off in Numbers 13. But I'm just going to summarize the story because I'm pretty sure you're quite familiar with the story. Mm. So this is uh, Moses sent 12 spies diba, to spy in the land of Canaan. Mm. And out of that 12 spies, we, we knew the story that only two out of the 12 had faith in God. Mm. That they are going to be... Uh, conquering these lands mm. So those two people Is si Joshua And si Caleb mm. And the other ten Were just doubtful Kay Lord They were saying na We can't conquer this land A, a lot of giants And maraming Malalaki na tao And they They have fortified cities Fortified walls We, we could not be able To conquer this land mm. But it's a different story With these two Within Joshua and Caleb mm. 
And you know, because uh, of the faith of Joshua and Caleb, you see, God rewarded them with something. Mm. And actually, in Numbers 14, verse 24, God gave a promise to Caleb. Okay, His promise was this. Numbers 14, verse 24, But my servant, Caleb, because he has had a different spirit and f- has followed me fully, I will bring into the land which he entered, and his descendants shall take possession of it. Mm. So God's promise to Caleb and all his descendants, it's not just Caleb, was that they are going to have land in the land of Canaan. Mm. But when, when God gave this promise, maybe Caleb was so excited during that time. Wow, my land ako because of this, uh, because of my faith in the Lord. Mm. But you may ask, gano ba katagal nag-antay si Caleb sa promise ni God? And actually, we could read that after two books in the Bible pa. So you could read it in jo- Joshua chapter 14. And in the whole uh, chapter of Joshua, this is where they were segregating the land and a portion of it was given to Caleb and his descendants. Mm-hmm. And it took 45 years for Caleb to have that promise kay God. And an um, amazing thing is this is what Caleb said in Joshua 14 verse 11. He said this, I am still as strong today as I was in the day Moses sent me. Wow. As my strength was then, so my strength is now for war and for going out and coming in. Mm. So Co- Caleb was wait, waited 45 years for that promise with God. Mm-hmm. But during that time of waiting, because Caleb was not passively waiting eh. He was, not, he was not just waiting na kailan kaya mangyayari itong promise ni God. Diba? He was actively waiting for God. He was actually in obedience kay God. San nga ba siya pinapadala ng Lord? In fact, if you read the whole book of Joshua, they were fighting different kinds of mm-hmm. um, Amalekites, mga ano pa, and uh, different cities they conquered with Joshua. Diba? Mm-hmm. So, wait, Joshua, uh, Caleb waited for 45 years but he was not um, passively waiting. And I also love this quote that I, I heard. Sinasabi dito, Waiting on the Lord isn't passive. It waits not for the results while passing the time on things that entertain the flesh. Mm-hmm. Waiting is active. It pursues, endures, runs to race to holiness, bears fruit, and it perseveres to the end. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes we have a wrong perception of waiting na um, mag-aantay na lang tayo kay Lord to do something. But sometimes... God doesn't act right away because we are not doing something about it. Mm. You know, for example, we're waiting for a salvation of a loved one. Mm. But you're not sharing the gospel to that loved one. You're praying, Lord, sana nga masave siya, but you're not, you're not doing anything. You know, and a lot of times, sir, in, Hindi siya active. Yeah, you know, it's not actively waiting. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's, that's also a promise from God. If, you have, if God gave you a promise, He will fulfill it. Yes. Diba? Amen. And of course, we need, we need to actively wait ng God. Gano ba katagal? Kung si, wait, kung si Caleb nga nag-wait ng 45 years, di ba? Willing ba tayo mag-wait ng 45 years? <laughs> Mas dugay si Abraham, no? Actually, si Abraham <laughs> for his uh, first son, di ba? First son. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And of course, uh, that's just a reflection for us, especially those for people who are in the season of waiting. Mm-hmm. And actually, I'm going to share a story of mine as well because... Um, uh, as it's also, also a story of waiting of mine because uh, as you may know I've been leading Elevate Davao but I've not been leading it for I've not been the coordinator for a long time it's just been around two years mm-hmm. and actually when we started after quarantine um, it was very challenging for especially for the youth ministry during that time because you know a lot of people were uh, nasanay sa online mm-hmm. or they, they don't want to go out and during that time, God gave, gave us a promise, eh, the whole team, that He would you know, bring people in, He would uh, uh, save people through this ministry. But it was challenging. Imagine our first Elevate Together because we nag separate na kami dalawang satellites, if you know early, sharing His devotion here. There were only like six servants sa aming ministry during mm-hmm. that time. And you know, uh, we just had this retreat two days mm-hmm. ago. And I w- as I was seeing the leaders after around two years of just serving God, actually it was less than two years, around a year and three months ago, God really multiplied and fulfilled this promise. Mm-hmm. We were about 
50 plus leaders already in mm-hmm. Elevate. And these are wow. leaders mm-hmm. that are leading groups. Wow. Mm-hmm. And I was just amazed kung gaano si God magfulfill ng promise niya. Mm-hmm. Looking at looking at back then, you know, sometimes when we look at oh, in that season of waiting, sometimes like the doubt tayo, diba? Lord, kaya mo ba? Kaya mo kaya to talaga? Mm-hmm. Diba? But you know, you just obey God and He would fulfill that promise of His sa atin, diba? Mm. So, that's just my devotion for today. How about you guys? Any time or any story that you have with regards to waiting uh, for the Lord? Bakit nakatingin ko yun, B? Nag-ibuli ba? Ikaw mo yun ang mag-o na rin, G? Wow. Very welcome. Hot seat. <laughs> very welcome. <laughs> Wait, um, our generation today is uh, not good at waiting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. Especially uh, Generation Z. Ba? Okay. Everything is just instant. Okay. Yeah. And we are so fond of um, instant things. Mm-hmm. Kung hinay ang internet, mag-grumble ta. Okay. Mm-hmm. Saman yung iba ting, hinaya. And yun nga, nasanay tayo na everything is fast. Mm-hmm. And uh, we get what we want immediately. It's true. Mm-hmm. But yeah. in, in God's system, in God's way of doing things, it's totally different. Mm-hmm. Uh, much more kung nabuhi ita sa Old Testament era ba na. Mm-hmm. Tag 45 years sila ang waiting period. No? Yeah. Uh, for the case of, maremember na ako si Jacob, Waiting for Rachel. That's seven years. Seven years and plus another seven, seven years. years. Di pa. Abi si Rachel ang nakuha kasi Leia. Kaya nga. Di ba? Di ba? So, <laughs> Nang liba. Si Leia. Pa, si Papa Leban. <laughs> <laughs> Ipinag-Leban. Oh, mm. Di ba? <laughs> and then the Israelites wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Not counting their captivity in Babylon mm-hmm. and all that. So, kapo yung magulat. No? Yeah. And uh, sometimes uh, we... Uh, accommodate doubt and fear in That's our lives true. during the waiting period. But uh, again, uh, I, I agree with what you said na ang, ang waiting time na gusto sa ginoon sa ato ahimuon is kanang active kind of waiting. And that includes prayer, um, cultivating our relationship with Him, you know, and identifying the characters that we need to change during those waiting periods for us to be ready Mm-mm. for that time when God will give us finally what yeah. we are asking for Him. It could be your lifetime partner, it could be your dream job, mm-hmm. it could be the ministry for the case of a mm-hmm. boy. No? And uh, I could relate in so many ways um, on that uh, subject matter. Uh, I've been away from the ministry as a radio for about five years you know, mm. to, to do um, formal training or study mm. for the pastoral ministry. Kay sa manggo ako gitawag dyan sa Ginoo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dari nagsugod ang tanan ba. So, nangandoy ko. And I know that desire is from the Lord. Na, mm-hmm. Lord, gusto na ako mag-eskwela o Bible school. Uh, Bible school na pa dyan to. Dari lang dyan sa Dabao para mm-hmm. uh, I, I have something but to start with. Mm-hmm. Um, because I felt like kulang ang ako ang equipping. Mm-hmm. Kung magbasa-basa lang o libro and uh, you know, um, take the lessons from the practical uh, experiences that I had in the ministry. But then, God wants us to be really uh, equipped when God calls you, He qualifies you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, He orchestrates everything in a way na you will be fully equipped and ready for the ministry that He has entrusted you. Uh-huh. But on that starting point, nga, na, na receive ni mo ang calling sa ginoo, dili pa ni mo masi, makita ang bigger picture. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that entails waiting for that right time for you to be ready. And only God knows when you are ready. That's ang, true. Ato ang role lang is we submit, yeah. we, we yield, no, and that's what I did during mm-hmm. those times. And in fact, uh, uh, I did not expect that it will last that long. Mm-hmm. Abo to almost five years of molding process, ni Lord. And that's not only um, time, the time I spent sa seminary training, but also God allowed me to experience different circumstances, mm-hmm. um, faith-testing circumstances, and meet people, mm-hmm. not only locally, but internationally. Okay, it had to take those experiences, and I had to meet all those people for me to be molded. Yeah. Uh, para sa kung unsa ko karon. No? Um, and that's all by the grace of God. Mm-hmm. So, that's the waiting period. No? And it's a roller coaster ride, actually. Na kung balikan ako, I see the bigger picture now. 
it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it all makes sense. Na kaya pala na meet ko si ganito kasi may purpose si Lord. Mm-hmm. Now uh, he's being used by God. Kung hindi dahil sa kanya, I would not have known this person. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. na exa na ba? So that encourages us and that's just even a, a, a faction of the story, no? Sa, sa waiting period sa ako ang personal life. Mm-hmm. And if we all realize that we will Uh, be grateful to the Lord ba? Na, salamat Lord for sustaining me throughout those waiting period kasi if not for your grace if not for your mercy I would not have made it no? yeah. na, nagpadala na ko sa katong heartbreaks nga nahitabo painful <coughs> experiences and uh, <coughs> the dream is over <laughs> <laughs> diba? Yeah. If, if we succumb to it naguba ang ano ang, ang plano sa ginoo mm-hmm. na gi-intend niya for you to patiently wait during that season So that's my fair share of the story, I guess. No, no. <laughs> fair good. Fair share. Yeah. Ikaw j- share mong unfair share. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for for me, no. Uh, it still relates to Mango. Since 2016, I first applied here. Kan ko I was still studying at the same time working in a BPO company. Desired just nako to be in the. Radio industry. To be here. Yes, to be here. Uh, in the radio industry. Ha? Yes. Dili pa radio ministry. Dili pa oh, radio wow. industry pa to. Mm. I tried to apply sa sa mga bigger networks. Like, na, dala sa Matina. Di na lang ko mag- mag- mag-mention. Ah, Katukungkuan? Katukungkuan. 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 Those networks, I tried to apply then, but, ay kabalo na ko ana. Oh, kabalo na ka ana. Ay ako pud, kay bo na pud ko. Ito lang dito sa shrine. Oh, kabalo na ko ana, guys. Nagana na na, pili lang ka. Narito mga tower na. Ay, narito mga tower. I tried. Narito tong tower dito. Nagyapon. I tried pero wala ko na dawat. There are people na gi gi design gid ang ang Ginoo para dito. Then I I did not lose hope. I I still prayed pero ang ang waiting na ko ba is nawala siya sa ako ang una-una nga mubalik ko apply in the Mango Radio okay I was focusing on my studies kay during those times third year na ko mm-hmm. third year college na ko and I'm still working in a BPO company so nawala ang ang rag thought nga ah, mubalik ko apply sa Mango Radio mm-hmm. but then uh After graduation, na, na murag na po ka balik ang ako on desire ba nga. Ay, ma-apply dahi kong bal- mabalik. Ngayon na apply mo kagbalik. Siya na. I saw the, I saw the uh, ad, I mean, ad. advertising sa Facebook, uh, okay. sa Mango. Okay. Nga, why not? Try ko, apply. Mm. Then, those times, kay ka nang murag struggles. And, ano ko, Lord, if this is your will, ma-apply kong balik, this time, Ipasulod na jud kani mo. Mm-hmm. This is really the time kay. Dili naman ko busy, dili naman ko um wala na dili wala na koy trabaho nga kana mo consume jud sa ako ang oras and I'm no longer studying. I'm fully yours. Yes. Uh-huh. Na kana mo commit na ko ba nga wala yeah. na dili na makighati ang Ginoo sa ako ang time. Take all of me. Pat <laughs> 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 pag ako mag share ang interactive new guys. <laughs> Makrelate mo gudmi. Oh yes. That Kunin was, mo na ang lahat oh, sa <laughs> That was <laughs> the time na gi-claim na gyud nako. Like a young version. Okay. Gi-claim na gyud nako Lord nga this time, this application sulod na jud ko. Mm. And pag text jud sa ako ang for your for interview, hilak jud ko like Okay, Lord. Demo na jud ni. Yun sa kapag hilak. Ay. Sample daw sa. Ayo lang kay mapangit. <laughs> Ma- mawala akong dignity. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe po, mawala akong dignity. Uh, style, like, those dak dak ka nang hilak nga, nga sa kalipay then. Ah, okay. Uh, I, I shared it to to my parents na lang. Unsa man ka nang sure na jud ka na imong sure na jud ka na imong career. Because as I've shared months months ago, na kanang they have this kanang different path that they want to see me after hmm. graduation. Mm. So ana sila nga. Sure na jud ka ana. Ko sure na jud ko. Kaya ni apply ko 2016 niya. Ni balik ang kanang hiring sa mga radio. Mm. Nagi claim na ako sa ginoo. Mm. Mao na ni, mao na gid ni. And here I am, de ba? Na after 2016. Nawala man siya but it did not kanang kwan ba wala siya sa ako wala nawala siya sa akong mind but it did not 
go away sa ako ang kasing-kasing. Eh, diretso mm-hmm. ko ibutang sa Ginoo. And meet people na kanang to mentor me, to help me, to help me grow. Yon, wow. that's that's my fair share uh, of stories. Seven years. Uh, 2016 to 2023. So mm-hmm. that's seven years. Mm-hmm. Wow, God's perfect number. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's really high time. No? Mm-hmm. Ikaw na jud ang kitakda. Do. Mm. Do. <laughs> and then more pa kay di ba dila mo kay speaking oh, mm. research you are also doing technical stuff mm. di ba so kwan and we're really thankful that you've joined us mm. so everybody who joins Mango it becomes an integral part of the ministry mm-hmm. okay so you really contribute and it becomes your experiences become part of uh, the experience of Mango no because um Kenisha, this is a ministry composed of people who mm-hmm really have that same passion. Mm-hmm. Mora siya. As ako na pong fair share. Oh. Yo, <laughs> ito exciting ka na story kay Kenny. Kenny. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody loves it. Tamino, tamino. Di ba ganyan as in mango, exactly, pero kwa niya siya, kaning related to my passion also which is singing. Mm-hmm. So in 19... Mm-hmm. Tiga mo ang gabi niko. 19. Ako kayo mga 2000. Ako kayo 19. In 1995, kanina lang, lag 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 yun. I had the opportunity almost to go to Europe mm-hmm. for the first tour of our a singing group mm-hmm. to just join festivals, etc. Pero since the, katunga time, bago pa ba ko nag-member, so I wasn't the priority. Mm. So, okay. Uh, 95, I just joined in July of 94. So, can you imagine, what po experience, what po ko hanaw, di ba kung kabulong basag nota, man sunod, in training pa lang akong boses, so di pa yung kahibalo. Mm. So, kato, wala ko ka in 95. Pero mm. sama sa yung muji, na wala mo yung mugi kalimtan, pero you did some things. Mm. Okay? As you were waiting, di ba? While I'm waiting, mm-hmm. so kato ang nitabo, no? While I was waiting, kani ako ah, ang yahang matawag nga mura ng fulfillment came in 2004. So can you imagine nine years? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so dito na, and then another opportunity to go to Europe at this time to represent the country in a choral competition. For which we won, oh, di ba? Yay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, shout out the he makes singers of Davao. Kato siya. So we won, and then finally, no, um, we were able to go to Europe. Mm-hmm. Now, um, as I reflected on it, okay, because moment mga situations gani nga mga sulti nga kana mga what if moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kada, what if wala ni neta bo? What if wala na ko ni siya na meet? What if wala wala ni nena ni? So, kada ba? Um, di ha niwa matrace gani nga actually God was there in every in every moment. Mm-hmm. Okay? And uh, the time came when 2004 arrived and I was there already. Nakaanam ko nga, Lord, my dear, no, wadyo ko naka dayo na tong 95. Okay, if ever man, I'm emotionally, uh, spiritually, physically, financially, sa so badagang pa ang mga daily. <laughs> Not ready. <laughs> daily ko prepared. Mm. Okay? So, but when 2004 came, I was. Okay, mm-hmm. siya. So, kumbaga, equipped na. Mm-hmm. So, di na ko maulo, makikita ang tao, and then makikita ang story. Katika-ati ko, German, o ba, o French, o ba? Mm-hmm. So, oh, pinata yun. <laughs> so, di, di, na ko, di na ko mataha, di na ko ma- mm-hmm. maula, wahad look. Okay, because already, I was equipped. Mm-hmm. Pero kanilang po, ang greatest gift nga for me was, because after the European trip, we just came back, and then for a month, we prepared, and then we went to the Canadian tour. Dito sa Canadian tour, dito na ang kuhan. Anito po sa ako nga we're in, um, dito ko nagka-recommit sa ako ang faith kang Jesus Christ because I first met Jesus in 91. Mm-hmm. Nag-recommit ko kay Jesus in 2005. That's when, 14 years. 14 years. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, yeah, and then, so that's two, 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 uh, double seven ba? Four oh. <laughs> 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 <Four> seven. Okay, <laughs> push good ba? <laughs> And then also in 2005 when I recommitted, okay, that was when I found out really, no, who the Lord is and experienced Him full, uh, uh, kaning, uh, uh, full force, mm-hmm. yun. And that was not just recommit, recommitted, but I was baptized as a Bible believing Christian in mm-hmm. 2005. And uh, ever since that time, until today, no, I, as I said in my own kaning testimony, that I've decided to follow Jesus. 
So there's no turning back. Mm-hmm. Yun. So So 91 and then 2005 and up to now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's been a while already. So kun ana ba ma question mo na while you're waiting what happened? Mm-hmm. Okay? But if you know that you are entrusting to everything to God, mm-hmm. okay? Entrusting to God. So ana ka nga it's something that is worthwhile and it's something that you should also pursue mm-hmm. because God's timing is not our timing. That's mm, true. Yeah. And similar to what Poi shared no, with us, Poi, that was a, was a very good point no, because all we know sometimes people is that Joshua and Caleb went to mm-hmm. the Holy Land and then they came back and said, yeah, we can take the land. Yay. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the other said, no, 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 we cannot. Siyempre, only Joshua and Caleb were able to actually go into the land The, the rest, no, no, no were no. not. <laughs> no, what, yeah. For 40 years, they were wandering in the wilderness. That's two generations worth of people who mm-hmm. died. And eventually, ang ilang mga children were not part of the original doubt. Mm-hmm. They are now the people who believed in what Joshua and Caleb said. Mm. And they also jumped into the ship or jumped off of the ship and trusted God to bring them through sa Juan, kanyang promised land. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it's an amazing story that you've shared with us today. And of course, that was my fair share. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just a realization, ba, before we wrap up everything. Mm. Um, waiting period entails kind of starting point and beginning point, of mm-hmm. course. No? Yeah. And it is the Lord who um, ordains that, mm-hmm. that yeah. uh, waiting period time. So from point A to point B, um, that's where you are stuck. No? And the time that you have to go through and learn everything that you need to learn. Supposedly, ginana dapat, dapat ang ato ang mindset. Mm. But many believers are not aware of that mm. uh, principle or system in which God works yeah. para sa ato ato to wait ba. So um, aside from the the sh- story that you shared ba about your being the coordinator finally of uh, Elevate, mm-hmm. um, what was the most gruesome waiting time for you? Na makaingon kang gibuild yun sa ginawa kong karakter ani ba na gruesome gibuild mm-hmm. <laughs> grueling <laughs> na gruesome grueling grueling sa sa akin siguro because I think last devotion I shared about yung heartbreak ko di ba mm-hmm. uh, remember mm-hmm. nyo pa sa ganyan to but uh, I think yeah uh, the really the waiting that was gruesome for me is uh, yung when it comes to relationships eh. because mm. uh, it reveals more of who I am. Even mm. now, di ba, nag-wait pa rin ako for that. Uh, ano. Pero yeah. it was... Uh, <laughs> kasi ano talaga yung waiting period? Because it just reveals to God, ano talaga yung weakness ko eh. Mm. Kaya nga, every time, um, I I kind of look back to it. It's like, ito talaga yung weakness ko, Lord, eh. Even until today. So it just reveals more of my character and more of an act of surrender kay God na, Lord, mm. ikaw na po yung bahala. Mm. And I'm pretty sure sa mga co-singles ko na dito, you are also in that time of waiting, di ba? Na parang, Lord, kailan nga ba? But, mm. kagaya na sinabi ni Pastor JB, there's just this starting point and end point. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean yung dalawang time lang yun. You could enjoy the process of it, eh. Yeah. During yeah. the middle time, you could really enjoy that if you just focus on Jesus. Yeah. Mm. Kasi, if you're focused on the end part na, Lord, kailan ba? Kailan ba to? Kailan ba to mangyayari? Mawawala yung joy mo, mm-hmm. di ba? You're just so focused on that that hindi mo ma-enjoy yung process of waiting. Yeah, that's exactly. true. Di ba? Mm. So, yun yung parang big takeaway ko rin sa sinabi ni Pastor JB that there is that joy, mm. you know, mm. when you are in that waiting period. And it doesn't mean na uh, ma-fulfill yung joy mo talaga after that waiting period. Mm. Actually, if you are already fulfilled with Jesus, yung joy mo would still be the same even mm. though that promise has been given by God. Mm. Di ba? Very true. Boy, it's a joy to always have you here and thank you for sharing with us no rubbing on to us the joy that you have especially in the <laughs> elevate ministry mm-hmm. of CCF and this will not be the last because you will uh, be here on nak schedule okay so okay. <laughs> watch out for that <laughs> <Schedule> to us <laughs> as mag share si Poy sa yahang insight so mm-hmm. he's sharing of course from the perspective of a young leader no? mm-hmm. who is mold- being molded by God and I know that God will honor ang imong waiting Mm-hmm. Yeah, very true, yeah. no? Because um diri magud ma-test. True. Sa fire of waiting. Yeah. Ang imong resolve. And then wana ka nga Lord, ikaw di bahala. 
okay? And then while I'm waiting, wala to. Ito, yeah. That's a very wonderful song. But uh, we will not go into that song. <laughs> we end this segment. <laughs> Lahi ang soundtrack. Lahi ang soundtrack na itong karan. <laughs> Pero po, eh, naki gusto i-greet before I let you go? Um, uh, i-greet. I just want to thank you na lang sila. Tita Gina and Gio, we just had that retreat. Mm. Uh, thank you po for... MX3, oh, parang mm. add na lang rin. Sponsor. <laughs> For uh, sponsoring or helping us through that time. And of course, sa mga Elevate pala, we want to invite you. Uh, all those young people who are listening in Davao City, uh, we will be having, this Saturday, our Unite. Okay, we will be having a 10th anniversary in Elevate. Wow. Can you imagine? Yeah. Aww. Actually, it's, it's uh, ano rin, kasi 10 years na rin ako naging Christian eh. So, mm. to, oh, it's memorable for me. Yeah, Your th- first decade. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah, so if you're a high school and college tu- student, please do join us this coming Saturday at Elevate Davao. So, mm. nandyan yun sa Abriza Banda, beside Inspira Towers. Mm-hmm. Okay, may, may pa free ice cream kami and coffee. So if you want to join us, you know, and well, I'm limited on coffee. Uh, bring friends, bring a lot of friends. Mm. Okay. Time is uh, 1 p.m. 1 yeah, PM. 1 p.m. Okay. 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. PM. Everyone is welcome. Young. Okay. All right. The big the biggest place though, the place is big. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Poi. And of course, thank you to our listeners. When we come back, we're going to have, of course, our pastor to answer with us that question. Now, how do parents deny the faith by not providing for their family? So we do have a father who cares for us and loves us. And that will be Chris Tomlin with his song, Good, Good Father. Hey, this is still Mango Mango Mornings Mornings here on Mango Mango Radio. Radio. We continue to communicate the love of God.